Right, another small video. I'm walking along the north side of the gorge. There's a huge gorge over there. They've all got names of different prominences. And I've been videoing this throughout all the seasons, so this is very green and lush. All the way down there, you'll see that in the autumn will be all browns and golds and yellows. Um, now it's midweek, well it's Thursday, I've just seen two people. You wait to the weekend, this place will be covered. Um, I don't know so much because there's football on. England play on Saturday. It's um, July the 5th, 2018. I'm out on a summer's walk. The aim today is to head up over bottom and um, cut through up towards the wireless masts, which I point out a lot on my walks. Follow a little track, walking literally past them. And then I'll decide, depending on the weather or any sign of thunder or anything, whether to carry on across the area of outstanding beauty, heading towards Robera Warren, but not going in the Warren, but turning off down by Tynings Farm and heading back that way towards Piney Slights Farm and then back down the gorge. Um, I can cut it shorter by not doing that bit if I want. Uh, I haven't decided yet, but it does really depend. I've got plenty of time, it, I think, though you've got to be careful. Time can go very fast um, with there not being a late bus. Well, all the ferns are out, look, now. There's arable land beyond there, where the cows are. It's funny, I go on about cows a lot, but last night... I watched this program. It's all to do with um, 70 years of the NHS. Um, I can't remember which hospital it was. It could have been St. George's or it could have been further up north. I'm not sure. But they showed, literally showed a woman who'd come in after being, she was a retired lady. I can't remember how old she was, but six, 70, the 70s I would have thought at least. But she'd been trampled. She'd gone to meet a friend. She had her little dog with her. And her friend obviously came across her. And had to rescue her um, from a herd of cows that would have killed her. They were trampling her. And one particular cow. Oh, there's some people coming now. One particular cow was stamping. Stamping on her. Non-stop, if you like. Um, and she got away. They showed her having scans, x-rays, um, to show if her spine or neck had been damaged. Fortunately, it hadn't. She's very battered and bruised. And you could even see hoof marks on her face. And she had a, a cut. She had um, cuts to her face and the side of her head. Um, and I think she broke... Part of her lower leg was broken, I believe. Fibular, tibular, all of that. Um, so she was very lucky. So when I talk about cows when I'm out, like she was like me. For all her life, she'd never been attacked. Although she did have a dog with her. A little tiny dog. Not a Jack Russell. Some sort of spaniel thing. And um, she'd never been attacked before. She'd gone through the same field quite a few times and never had any trouble with these cows. On this particular day, they just went for her, surrounded her, and tried to trample her to death. Fortunately, a friend who was meeting her, I can't remember the whole story, I'd have to watch it again, also got attacked by the cows. But she managed to grab her up by her arm and drag her out of the field. Yeah, it's just about five or six people come in now, just saying how quiet and peaceful it is. Then a herd come. If they're young people, they'll catch me up very quickly. But anyway, 
Just thought I'd mention that because I'm always going on about cows. But on this particular walk I'm doing now, skirting the gorge, there are no cows. But there are in the field there. And quite often I have to come back through that field later. Um, but I usually assess whereabouts the cows are before I think about crossing it because I've got um, what I call my escape routes that I will use instead if they're too close to the gates or you know so it's quite a big herd that one and then they have a bull all the all the herds seem to have a bull with them now right so that's a little bit of my walk over now I'll come back on again later I'm heading for Velvet Bottom uh, Velvet Bottom is renowned for its um, Roman and Victorian lead mining industries. And though it looks beautiful now, and landscape pretty, it was actually black chimneys, lots and lots of black soot and noise. But I do sometimes get over the gate. If I knew the cows are right up the other end, there is a way through here you follow around, but I don't know if the cows are over there. So I'm not going to risk it today. Right, over and out.